So welcome to Kamala Beach, Phuket, Thailand. And uh, what I thought I'd do today is kind of give you an idea what Kamala Beach is like during the rainy season. As of this recording this video, it is September 2024. And I'm over here toward the, I would say, southern end of Kamala. See some horses on the beach. It's a beautiful day out. So let's go around, kind of explore around a little bit, see what's going on at this time of year. Looks like they have some uh, lifeguard training going on. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's go explore. See all the beach chairs. Now I'd have to say that Kamala is uh, one of my favorite places to uh, visit. And I've made several videos out here in the past, and uh, you can even look them up. I try to keep uh, regular videos of this place because it's so beautiful. Every time I come uh, as I'm traveling through here. But uh, let's take a walk a little bit down the beach and then I'll show you what it's like on the pathway. See what's open, but look how beautiful it is. They have coconut trees in the background. You got a nice sun out, makes the water very pretty with that reflection. And this is what you call low season crowd. So I'll kind of give you a little bit of an orientation. This is the uh, southern end. Actually kind of stretches out a little bit further because of the tide. And they kind of swing it around. See how beautiful. Look at that water. See the color in it. And then you start running north. Looks like the uh, beach chairs are mainly down here at the south end and also at the extreme north. See the clouds in the sky. So, but so far. No chance of rain yet. That's why I wanted to get out here today. See these trees in the distance. It just sets the uh, background so nice. Nothing like starting out on the beach today. And as you go further north, you start running into Serene Beach. I'll try to hit that one while I'm here. Kind of give you an idea how the background of these coconut trees really make a good backdrop. And you can definitely see the difference between high and low season and September is the rainiest month in Phuket so that's one of the reasons why because it does not rain every single day here it does you might get maybe 20 minutes of rain and then it looks like this although if there's a storm system somewhere out in the way out in the admin sea somewhere that does uh, affect it like it did last week you know if you have a hurricane system out there that'll definitely uh, keep the weather pattern uh, pretty fierce for a while and uh, just before I got out here Phuket it was almost solid rain you know there's another reason why I like to get out and walk beaches because it's good for you okay I like to get in a lot of steps. I'm a 20,000 step a day guy. I've been doing that daily for a number of years. And I think it's important to get out and move. When I was at uh, yesterday, I put a video up of uh, the Jung Silong. When I did that video, when I left home, there in Kata, 
I think I had like 7,000 steps. And by the time I got done with the video, making my video, I was over 21,000. So I covered a lot of distance right there in that mega shopping complex, which I got to know real well yesterday. That was a lot of fun. If you've never been to the Jung Long, definitely give it a try. I had been in there a number of years ago, and I know they went through some renovations, and I just wanted to see what it was like. And it was a lot of really neat things there. So, good day yesterday. Just like today. Ah, look at the color of the water. You can see the color? Kind of uh, lightens up, they get a little bit darker, gets a little bit lighter. Probably make a turn up there by that lifeguard tower and then hit the back pathway. See what that's like back there. So time to take a little bit of a walk behind the beach, kind of on the pathway, kind of show you what's there. This is on like the north end. The Nanak Seafood is kind of the start of it. So I'll show you. Right here. And then they got this pathway, which they, it looks like they redid some of it. But I'll show you this uh, really cool sign with surfboard. It's been here for a while. This way to the beach. And they got this uh, iconic surfboard. But say we take a little walk down the pathway and you can see what it's like. We got the ice man. That ice is melting fast. One thing about walking back here, you've got to get a little bit of the uh, backdrop on what it's like. I mean, especially with these uh, coconut trees in the uh, back of the beach. You can see them from this angle. There goes the ice man. Look at that rotisserie. Let's see if you get a glimpse of that. How about that? I like the idea. Full chicken. 580 baht. Beach is uh, pretty clean too. Ah, ice cream. Gotta love that. is a pretty happening place right here. A lot of them like, you know, they close down for renovation, like looks like this one does for, you know, repair work or maybe they're just going out of business. I just like how this beach is set up. It's very easy. The way this pathway is working. Nice sitting areas. Nice little restaurant here called the Coconut Garden. I think it's a, a resort at the same time. Ah, yes, sun is back out again. 
go get another view of the water. Take advantage of it. Well, we can. See how the difference is with the sunlight on the water. You can see that. So this is what I do. Every day I go out and vlog something. That's my daily life. I call it an adventure though. I don't really call it a... I go out somewhere. Some adventures are more intense than others. This one is kind of laid back. Travel adventures. That nice little swing you can get on. I think this is like more of the uh, main part. See all the uh, condominiums there on the hillside. Of course, you can buy all your beach stuff and souvenir at the same place. Look at that one. That one looks funny. Elephant drinking a beer. I'm right off this resort on the south end. Came from all the way up there. It's like they uh, see the pathway. It looks brand new almost. Just by the way it's laid out. Much better kind of rides a little bit better too. It's inside of this resort. Maybe it's a Kamala Beach Resort, I think. And if anybody's following along, I really appreciate it. These are my style of videos. I just like to go out, explore, even if I've been here before, which I have, obvious, it's nice to come back and uh, do them again. Oh, I love these uh, fruit smoothies. I haven't had one since I've been out here yet. What do you got? What do I look like? Not yet. So what I'm going to do is leave the beach and then kind of walk around in the town area a little bit. Although it's not completely Kamala town, but uh, it'll give you a little glimpse of it. I'll give you a complete vendor walk down. There's the little pancakes. Now you in cup. Let's say your barbecue. And of course, plenty of souvenirs and hats and bags and shirts and all kinds of little things. Oh, I love that barbecue corn. That is really good. I got some place at Kata Beach that I get that. And you get all the Thai food right here. Look, she's uh, cooking some up right there. Mm, look at that. Sweaty cup. Look how nice that looks. I'll try to get a better angle. Okay, so I'm back here on the main road. And uh, I'll take a walk heading south on it. And you can see what's back here. Again, there's the uh, parking lot. Just past that delicious pad thai that she was cooking for somebody. Very tempting to go back there after I get done here and get some, but not really sure yet. It's kind of uh, 
take a little bit of a hike. See what's down here. And of course, you have plenty of 7-Elevens. They're just everywhere. Let's see, Tuesday night fight. Oh, that was last Tuesday. See all the fighters. has got to be the probably busiest part. Country Delight. That's the name of that one. Yeah, Kamala Dreams. That's the name of this place. your tour places so many of those you're gonna hook you right up wherever you want to go nice little tucked in places sweaty cup sweaty cup and of course you can get a uh, a tailored suit. so this is the end of this video of my little tour of Kamala, Phuket, Thailand, and what it is like during the rainy season. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. It's just a short one, nothing big at all. Just kind of a little tour of what's around here. I just finished up actually right on this uh, little back road. It's a beautiful day and I'm really looking forward to exploring more of Phuket. So. I hope to see you in my next video. So see ya from beautiful Phuket, Thailand. Later. <laughs>